Today I will show you how to install a pterodactyl panel and wings on the same machine. First let's head over to our discord server, we have a great community you should probably join. Head down to support and auto install code and copy this. It is to be said we did not create or maintain this script, we might make one in the future. Anyways, after you've copied that, log into your, into your VPS or dedicated server, whatever you will be using. This script would work on CentOS and on Ubuntu, which I'm currently using. CentOS would be for more advanced users that want a tiny bit more professionalism and stability, but Ubuntu is more than well, uh, well enough equipped for the job and has more, way more support than CentOS if you're running into issues. So first, head over and write sudo su to make ourselves root. I already am root. And then if you're running CentOS, you would, be, you would do yum update to update the machine. And on Ubuntu, you do apt-get update, and then these two symbols, and apt-get upgrade. My machine obviously has nothing to do right now, since I just ran the command. Anyways, let's head back here since I accidentally copied. Copy the command again, log into the machine, and say paste. So we want to bash something something and just enter. This will launch the script and we want to install both 0 and 1 which are panel and wings on the same machine. It's, it literally just runs the wing script after the panel. So yeah, you could also do 1, no, 0 and then 1 right after. Anyways, let's head over and hit 2 and then enter. Oh yeah, uh, I also gotta remember to say, um, this is the github for the script and it is made by this guy. So, um, what is that we want to give it a database name? Uh, you can obviously write something custom, but I'll just leave it as it is, so just hit enter. It will automatically do what is within these parentheses. And use the database username, it's fine as pterodactyl. And set a passcode. Remember to set a secure passcode here, something that isn't easily guessable. And then set your time zone. It is to be said that when you set your time zone, capitalize it correctly like they did here, else it won't work and yeah. But for me, Stockholm fits fine. It's the same as my current one, so I'll just hit enter. Then provide it with an email address for Let's Encrypt. This isn't strictly necessary, but it still asks you to provide one. We won't be using Let's Encrypt in this tutorial, but if you have a domain name, maybe a free one for from no IP or something similar, or you bought your own, you would also be able to use that one instead. So, what's the email address for that one? Account? That will be the same email. And what will be the username? Uh, well, that would just be upgrade and last name more. Oh, and last name again. Wow. Now his name is upgrade. Enter and give it a passcode. Make sure this is a different passcode from the first one. So something... Yeah. And set the FQDN of the panel. If you have a domain name, you would now paste in your uh, domain name. If you want to use SSH or just want to connect to it through it through a domain name, a free one, or cost, uh, something that costs. But we won't be do doing that, we'll just type in the IP address of the server. It is the same you use to connect SSH to your server. So just hit enter there. And do you want to automatically configure your UFV firewall, or on CentOS it would just be firewall? Hit yes to that one. And do you want to auto automatically HTTPS with that script? We won't be doing that, but if you want, and like HTTPS instead of HTTP, you would be doing this. And assume SSL, for us no, but again, for HTTPS, you would want to assume SSL. And initial configuration complete, do you want to continue? Yes. So after that install ran through, it asks you about database hosts. You can just say no to that, so just hit enter. It will automatically select the thing that is written in large, so n in this case. 
Do you want to configure firewall? Yes, do that again. And on CentOS, it will say something different. I think firewall.cmd, but it is we still want to say yes to that. And configure Let's Encrypt, no. Proceed with installation, yes. After installation, make sure to write systemctl start winks as it says right here.